And then what happened to you? Um, I don't remember from what I'm told. <laughs> um, I started throwing up, and they didn't know what to do with me, so they put me in the bathroom. So how long were you in that bathroom? About two hours, and then they came back to check on me, and I wasn't breathing. Then they attempted to come and get you out of the bathroom, had to carry you, because they were going to take you to the hospital, but every five or ten steps, they had to stop and do CPR on you. They took you to the hospital. How long were you in a coma? Um, I was only, well, I shouldn't say only. <laughs> I was comatose for about two hours on respirators, and when they dropped me off... Oh, please, wait. Do this. Tell me. So I got to take a break, but I want you to explain this. You were in the hospital, alcohol, didn't know what happened. When you woke up in the hospital, you had tubes in your mouth. Tell people what it's like to wake up, not know that you were even there. Explain this. There's nothing more horrifying than waking up and not knowing where you are, why you're there, or who, or who you are. And you didn't even know who you were. How long did it take to remember your name? I don't know how long it took me to remember my name. It took me six hours to remember my phone number or written right on a clipboard. And then they called your mom. You know, when my mom came to look for me, I was listed under Jane Doe, because they didn't tell the hospital who I was. Let me take a break. When we come back, we'll try to figure out why would people even do this. Take a break. We'll be back right after this. Now I use it to make a difference. I go and I speak at schools because unlike their children, I was lucky. And if I don't do something with it, there's something wrong with me. Uh, I, you know what? <laughs> I was so clear that Utah made a good choice in you. Spread. 